A box that displays sequences of pictures in conjunction with sound to create the illusion of motion in order to distract us from an increasing wealth gap in our own meaningless existence. Bet you believed us kids only thought about toys and crap, didn't ya? Hello? Hey! This lounge is for teachers! How do you get in here? Oh, I, uh, just walked in. And your legs aren't broken? Let me check. Nope. How about your spirit? Still no. Ah, give it time. Well, I guess I'll leave you to your, uh, important work. Important? What I do here in this school couldn't possibly be any less important. You know the little grates that catch hairs in shower drains? Yeah? Those are more important than what I do. That grade isn't even worth picking up. If I steal the Dean's List, I'd end up on the Dean's List. Now that's a paradox. At least the teachers rank me above those poor bastards. Summer will be great if I make it there alive. What are you guys in for? This narc keeps saying I beat him! Which is true, but don't go around narking about it! You call that a beating? You're lucky we're in the principal's office, or else I'd show you what a beating is! Maybe I can help. Maybe you can fuck off! See what I have to deal with? Guys, let's be constructive here. Why don't you each vocalize your issues with one another? My biggest issue right now is with the little dweeb sticking his nose where it doesn't belong! What the hell, man? The kid's just trying to help. Yeah. Oh, what? Now you guys are ganging up on me? Classic knock behavior right there. Just leave us alone. Great. It sounds like we're closing in on a breakthrough here. This is out of my jurisdiction. See ya. That printer is for staff only, Cooper. Look out! There's a three-headed orangutan behind you! Nice try, dear, but that gag's older than me. Come on! Can I please use the printer? You know what? I guess I can let you. Oh my god! Look behind you! It's a three-headed orangutan! Ah! Where is it? Ha ha ha, gotcha! God damn it! That printer is for staff only, Cooper. What if I give you a big hug? Then can I use the printer? I get all the hugs I need from my girlfriends in my nightly ceramics class, sweetie. Really? That actually sounds kind of nice. Where do I sign up? Sorry, Shug. Much like the faculty printer, it's no kids allowed. God damn it! Hey, computer! I'm a kid! Stop all the downloading! Probably shouldn't get my boogery fingerprints on there. They'll know it's me.
I'm trying to print out your flyers, but Patty, the receptionist, won't let me use the copy machine. Any idea how I could distract her for a bit? I don't know if this helps, but I heard the only thing that Patty looks forward to each day is eating her lunch in the faculty lounge. Okay, I'll check in there and see if I can figure something out. Thanks. It's small, but it gets the job done. That's what she said. Maybe this lunch label will be good bait to distract the receptionist. This is where teachers keep their booze and food. I heard that Mr. Banal once stored a dead cat in there for a week. I wonder if someone accidentally ate it. on the yogurt cup that I saw Miss Puffs throw away when she was done eating it. Your name's Patty, isn't it? That's right. And you say Miss Puffs took my yogurt even though it was clearly marked with my name? Yes, ma'am. That fucking bitch! She's gonna eat my goddamn yogurt? She knows I have soft poops. I drive 45 miles outside of the city to her abortion appointment, and this is how she repays me? We'll see how solid her stools are when I shove a yardstick up there. Unfucking believable! She's gonna be goddamn yoga hurt when I'm done with that rass of fracking no good lion. I'm learning a lot about the school staff today. Damn, I must have inserted it the wrong way. Why does that always happen with USB drives? Better try again. I guess I must have had it right the first time? Gah! Okay, let's give it one more try. What the? How come that didn't work on my first try? God damn it! I hate technology! <sighs> oh well, at least the copies are printed. Copy that. I already used that for what I needed. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, now that I have these flyers, I just need to find three good spots in school to hang them up. Damn good spot for a flyer if I do say so myself, and I do. I hope nobody saw me try that. Jellyneck says, if you steal school art, he'll rip your ass apart. <laughs> Let's be honest, Sawyer's flyer looks way better than any of this art anyway, so I did them a favor.
pardon me, but do you? Stop talking. I don't want to catch dork disease. Greetings, I'm Coop and... Are you coming on to me? Ew! That's either someone with a cool hoodie or someone being eaten alive by an animal. I've been slammed into these so many times they still smell like me. The girls' locker room is for literal pussies, not figurative ones like me. Unless I had a disguise. Open sesame. Damn, didn't work. I don't feel like doing a bench press. Does this mean I'm on the team now? Hooray! Receiving medals of participation is like getting an honorary STD just for watching other people have sex. Ow. Maybe I should try being smarter. Fire! Nature's TV. These tools feel nice. I... I think I'm a man now. Maybe when I put these on, I'll finally be the man of some girl's dreams. Smart thinking, but no. There's loads of people in here, so someone's bound to see this. There we go. Sawyer's definitely gonna think of me as her best friend now. Well, hopefully. I got those flyers up. I'm sure some of these idiots will accidentally see it. I hope so. Thanks for that. Oh, by the way, you should go talk to the librarian. I saw her cracking her knuckles and swearing vengeance on you. Something about an overdue book? 
Yeesh. I already have enough people threatening my life as it is. Thanks for the heads up. I'll go talk to her. Excuse me. Shh. Oh, excuse me. Shh. Excuse me. Shh. Shh. Please, I... Ah, oh, Mr. McCarthy. Just the person I wanted to see. That doesn't sound good. How observant of you. The thing is, little bitch. Can I call you little bitch? I'd prefer you didn't. The thing is, little bitch, you owe the library some debt. Does 99 ways to make friends. The psionic prestige versus the bronze brain or where are my pubes? A guide to late bloomers. Sound familiar? Uh, isn't there some sort of confidentiality rule or something? I know you have them, Cooper. The library knows everything. It's okay. I, I could just run home and get them. I'm afraid I can't let you leave. Not with regular, unbeaten knees, anyway. Not my knees! Those are my favorite knees! Lucky for you, I have a little deal to offer. Either we take your overdue book debt out on your little bitch knees, or you can do us a favor on the down low. We're missing a very important carpentry book. First edition. Bring it back to me, and I might let you live. Hell, I'll even throw in a little something extra for scratching our back. How does that sound? Sounds like I don't have a choice. You don't. Now get moving while you still can walk. <sighs> okay, since it's not in the library, where the hell could I possibly find a missing carpentry book? Shh. Hey, Max, just had a quick question for you. I've got an even quicker answer. No. Okay, catch you later, Max. Don't talk to me like we're friends, Coop. Okay, so it moves the chain up and down. For leverage, maybe? Hey, Todd. You look a bit more roughed up than the last time I saw you. What happened? Yeah, I broke my arm in a freak 2x4. Oh. Oh, funny. Aimed your hand. Yeah. And. Uh-huh. Oh. Yep. Jesus. Questions, if you don't mind. Okay, see you later, Mr. Barry. Well, you certainly won't. And accidentally learn something? I think not. This red book connects you directly to the president. Your history, bookshelf. Got him. I'd love to stay and chat, but my schedule's all booked up for the day. Thank you. 
killing it, buddy. Ha ha! Keep up the good work. It's a copy of the anarchist's cookbook, preventing the table from falling over and causing anarchy. Nah, I'm gonna let that sit there and do its job. you could get the hard stuff? Of course. I've got the strongest markers in town. Wow. H how'd you know I was talking about markers? I can sniff out a sniffer from a mile away. Hand over the money and this here deep blue jumbo sized mark tech marker is all yours. Oh, I don't have any money. Um, could you just, like, give it to me? Fuck. No. But I suppose there's something you could do for me. Go on. I could probably help. See, I've been trying to bust into the kindergarten market, right? But every time I approach the playground, this damn kick-ass scar on my face sends those babies running for the hills. I take care of it myself, but I've been blacklisted from every pharmacy in town for buying up all their ephedrine. So, what you're saying is... Scarway, Scar be gone, Scar wash, Scar bro, Fair Skin, Scar... Whatever brand you can get your hands on. Give me the Scar Cream, and the marker is all yours. Uh, okay, got it. They're tampons. I know because some bullies once shoved them in my nose after breaking it. They're tampons. I know because some bullies... I better get this thing signed. School isn't over yet, so I can't leave early. I'm back for more! Smell you later. Hey, janitor! If you're in there, everything is going to be okay! I mean...
You missed a spot. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm slacking. Say, can I borrow your keys? My, my keys? Well, what do you need them for? Oh. Uh, I was going to key the car of your soon-to-be ex-wife's date. Oh, that's awfully sweet of you, little buddy. The thing is, they're not on me, and I can't remember where I left them. I could have left them in one of my crying spots, like the faculty lounge or the boiler room, so maybe check those places. Okay, I'll check those out, and maybe give those crying spots a test drive. Oh, trust me, they're the best darn crying spots in the whole school. Well, good luck out there. Oh, if luck be a lady, she would have left me too. Oh, Beverly. explore the mysteries of the janitor's closet. An entire room full of new inanimate objects to talk to. All right, it worked. Now I can stand in a tiny cramped room full of chemicals. I'm pretty sure touching any of this would kill me. So if you're a pulley, then what's a pushy? I don't see any fires to put out. I don't think I can use that. It looks confusing. Moist, yet satisfying. I touched it, and nothing will ever be this satisfying. This is a perfect moment. That's the only janitor's junk I'd ever look at. I touched it, and nothing. Grandma says never touch janitor junk. What you looking at? I'm trying to pick out a new- What kind of books do you- I like old- Uh, absolutely well played. I'm not going to file these unless somebody pays me. I lick my fingers and flip through the pages of both books. I gain 10 boredom points. They look nice and dusty. Wouldn't want to mess up the ecosystem by introducing my greasy fingers to it. I'm not much of a hacker. Hello. 
mixing some chemicals, eh? What do you mean? According to my... Uh, oh. Ahoy there! Say, do you... Don't talk to me, loser. <laughs> is it just me, or is this a little weird? This isn't even close to weird. You wouldn't like me when I'm weird. Okay, then. Here's an idea. Let's not be friends. Oh. Um, in case you didn't notice, your flippant towel waving is causing this kid's butt discomfort. <laughs> yeah, I'm whipping the weirdo good. Is there a point where you stop whipping asses and actually get dressed? Hey, you don't get this good at ass whipping without a whole lot of practice. Fair enough. Okay, well, I gotta go. This costume gives me the legal right to murder campers and Kent, right? I mean, let's be honest. If you look like a nerd, you're gonna get treated like a nerd. Is that why people treat you like a sack of hot wet garbage? <laughs> Got him. Sick bird! <laughs> talk longer, but I gotta bounce. I got some balls you can touch right here, Johnny. Locked. Isn't that a fire hazard? The door is leading to the back parking lot. Hey there, do you mind if I... Did I give you permission to look at, let alone speak to me? Hello, Mr. Pepe. Well, well, uh, young... Is there... I am a... What ha... Dude, much... Uh, also... Tell me... I know not where thine vessel hath gone, knave. But if I take it, then someone will ask, Friend, where has my book titled, Friend, Where Has My Vessel Gone Gone?
if I do, I'm pretty sure this will fall and crush me. You know, once I saw a cartoon where they were lifting a heavy piano up into a building with a pulley and a rope. Maybe that'd work. It's a missing carpentry book! Hmm, my arms look like a baby's legs, so no chance I can lift it. If only there was a way to hoist the desk. There's already rumors swirling around about me grabbing my hose at school. I don't need to validate them. It's a good thing I found this pulley. Now I can hoist heavy things, like a big boy. Thank you.